everyone and welcome to my channel Kerry Gem Spiritual World. I am a tarot reader, I do zodiac and pick a card readings. So in today's reading this is going to be um, a think of a person and this is the message for you. So think of a person you'd like to receive a message from. It could be your love interest, it could be a friend, it could be a relative, um, a loved one, someone you've lost or an ancestor, just whoever you want to be in contact with. So I'm going to be channeling these messages to you. Please remember this is a general reading, therefore it may not resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. I also offer private readings which will be linked down below in my, the description box. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe. As usual I have laid out three different crystals to help you intuitively pick the right pile that you feel most drawn to. So we have three different groups. Group 1 we have the Rose Quartz. Group 2 we have the Sodalite and then for group 3 we have the Green Adventurite. So pause the video if you'd like to meditate on this to decide which pile you feel most drawn to. When you've chosen your individual pile all you need to do is click the description box and your timestamp will be linked in the description box and also pinned to the comments section. So I'm going to start with group 1, the Rose Quartz and for the rest of you I will see you at the click of your timestamp. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading. So you chose the Rose Quartz Palm Stone. So your reading may be to do with love. Maybe you picked this stone because it represents either your self-love or love in a relationship and that may be someone you're wanting to um, connect with. So I've prepared one card for you and the rest will be put in from each of my decks. So the first card you have is the number four Thursday. So this does represent the fifth weekday week okay so your channeled message here could be something related to the day of Thursday um, it does say take a stand follow your energy so perhaps your person um, wants to send you a message that you need to kind of um, make a decision about something you know step up for yourself you know don't be afraid of other people and follow your energy and and then people will follow you back so maybe you feel quite alone right now and you know you're wanting to make a stand on something and it, your message here is to follow your energy, follow how you feel and your intuition. So you have the colour red popping up, okay, so this could be passion, this could be love, this is some kind of message channeling to you now and more on a spiritual base as well, especially where you have the blue crystal, this does call for kind of spiritual love. So you have the number five and this does represent the freedom of human will. So I feel like your person may be trying to send you a message that don't be afraid of change, don't be afraid of instability. Um, you have four and five which are very significant in your reading. This may be um, a communication coming through to you. Perhaps these are numbers that you really resonate with. So maybe something happened on Thursday or will be happening on a Thursday and that is your channeled message from your person. So let's find out more um, from the tarot. So for group number one of my YouTube channel, what is their person's message to them? What is their person's message to them? Group number one of my YouTube audience, what is their person's message to them? What do they want them to know? Wow, so you got the strength card pop out. And we literally just spoke about you, you know, taking a stand for yourself. You know, not feeling vulnerable anymore. And not being scared of change and you've got strength coming out so your person wants to tell you that it's going to be okay you're going to be strong so either you um you're you really miss this person and picking up perhaps this person you're trying to, to channel um you miss them perhaps they're not around at the moment and you also have the high priestess so you've got major life events coming in uh, your reading so this does give me a really strong message and again this is just telling you to focus on your intuition listen to your soul perhaps you're trying to channel someone who knows you are channeling them I feel like the message here is this person knows you are there and you know they are there so we have a Leo and a Cancer popping up so this could be sun, moon or rising in your chart or theirs, but this is the kind of, um, the star signs that I'm picking up. I also feel like your person wants to send you the message to not be sad. Um, I feel like this lion is a bit stressed, it's a bit, um, 
aggravated by this snake coming out so I feel like maybe you feel a bit upset about something and I feel like your person wants to give you a hug they want to embrace you they want to let you know that everything is going to be okay and it's really interesting as well because we do have if you can see this up close four and five here and we have the number four and five also with the high priestess I do feel like that you are more spiritual than you know and as you can see she has this book of tarot on her lap so I do feel like you are connecting with cards um, you may be again listening to readings like you are right now or maybe playing with tarot yourself but it's almost like you won't open the door to something you won't open the book to the next chapter in your life and it's almost like your person is letting you know it's okay to open the next chapter it's okay to see what comes next and I feel like your person is letting you know that there is a lot of hard work to put in. You know, camels are really hard working animals as well. So we do have camel popping up as well as the kind of moon shining through. So I do feel like your person is really trying to channel you because they feel like you're going through a difficult time. Um, and the swords does suggest that to me. There is something that has almost thrown like an arrow at you and you've been a bit like needing guidance. So let's pull some more messages to find out what your person wants you to know. So for group number one of my YouTube audience, um, what does their person want them to know? What's the message that their person wants them to know? For group number one, what does their person want them to know? What's the message they need to know? Okay, lovely. Can we have a, one more message, please? So we got the Seven of Cups. And you also got the Ace of Swords. So group number one, your person wants you to know that you have this illusionary success that is actually in your reach. Um, as you can see, there is like multiple cups here and you are actually connecting to the divine. I feel like there is actually a lot of spiritual involvement here. You may be able to connect to different sources and I do feel like you're channeling a message from someone who you can't directly contact. And we have a Scorpio energy coming through here. You know, you do have the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning, a new star. I did speak about this book being open to the next chapter. So I feel like your person is trying to send you this message that it's okay to kind of start something new. It's okay to kind of have rational thoughts sometimes and maybe act upon them as well so I feel like you know you are ready to select one of these cups and it's almost like you're trying to look for like the prize under a certain cup it's almost like that game you know trying to collect the right um, the right gift basically so I do feel like all these cups contain different things and it's almost like you are kind of making a decision about something. So your person wants you to know that you're going to make the right decision. Whatever you choose in life, whatever route or direction you are going in, it's almost like you are going to make the right decision. Especially where you have the Ace of Swords, it's saying that you know, you're know you going to select this choice and you're going to stand behind it. And we do have this kind of ghostly figure in the second cup and I feel like it's really standing out to me in your reading and I really am pulling upon that kind of um, the message that is challenging to me now especially where you've got the snake popping up again I feel like this snake is kind of coming in to kind of scare you away from what you know I feel like your intuition is telling you that you know something and your person is sending you this message saying like to trust yourself and I feel like you are being reached something you know there is this hand coming from the cloud and we do have this crown popping up, so I do feel like you are going to be wearing this crown. Perhaps your person is letting you know that you are royalty to them, you are special to them. That is a message that is coming through, that your person wants you to know that they are sending you signals, they are sending you signs. I'm seeing feathers. Um, I just feel like you really are being connected with. So can we have uh, another message for group number one? Of the person they're thinking about what is the message they want to send to them right now what is the message Spirit, what is the message the hierophant so another major arcana card 
So I'm picking up Taurus energy here. And I feel like, again, that there is a strong spiritual message coming through from your person, okay? Your person is trying to send you this message that they believe in you, they believe in what you believe in, and that you need to trust that more. So I feel like your person is telling you that you need to receive knowledge from this higher source, connect to the divine, and awaken to your understanding. So there may be some kind of spiritual tools that you need to get across to this message. It's almost like for you to channel these divine messages, you need to kind of dig into this. And what really is drawing me to this card is this white dove that you have uh, coming through. So for some of you tuning in, you may be trying to connect with someone who passed away. Perhaps that is something you are um, thinking of, or just someone that who isn't around right now. And they're letting you know that they are in peace, they are peaceful, and they are still with you. And I feel like you are unlocking this key to these steps where you're going to basically be spiritually guided. Again, the symbol of strength is coming through strong and where you have the bull and the elephant, I feel like you have this memory about this person uh, from a long time ago. I feel like the message your person's trying to tell you is that um, you have strong memories with them. You've created um, lifetimes with them and it's almost like these uh, memories will never go away. It's something that the you will always have with you forever. So let's get some more messages for you. Group number one on what their person they are thinking of. What is the message that they are trying to send to them? What is the message? Wow, okay, so you got bushfires, fury. There is some kind of resentment here I'm picking up. Some kind of, something that is um, making your person feel angry. So what is this fury coming through? What is the message? Why is this fury coming through? What is their person angry about? So group number one, what is their person angry about? Pressure. Okay, so let's just um, speak about these messages. So I'm picking up with the Bushfires Fury card is that your the person that you are trying to get a message from feels a bit angry about something. So I did speak about some that you have loads of memories with this person, but I feel like there is um this this person has a bit of a bad memory and not necessarily with you, but I feel that they're warning you to stay away from something. Okay, they are sending you this warning. There is this kind of like hot fire burning. There is this flame coming towards you. Um, you see how these kangaroos are just running away. You know, they're trying to get away from this bushfire. So I feel like your person is trying to channel a message to you to stay away from something or someone. Just keep moving. Be guarded, okay? It's almost like you are looking through the vision of one eye and not using both eyes. You do have the number 10 here, so there is this completion, there is something coming to an end. Something will be finished, um, is something that's coming through. We also have transformation pressure. Your person is trying to channel the message to not feel pressured about something. There may be something that you are thinking about if you should stick around to. So this could be a relationship, a job, this could be to do with family. But there's some kind of transformation taking place that they really want you to transform. They want to see you kind of run away from the situation. They want to see you grow and take great pleasure in doing this. They want the pressure to be lifted from you. I feel like you may be trying to reach out to this person because you want to know their opinion on this. This thing that you're thinking about whether you should go towards or go away from is almost like your, your person feels very strongly about this. So can we get another message for group number one on their person and their message that they are trying to send to them. One more message. Can we have a final message that they want to send to them? Okay, we've got music a joy. How lovely is this? So your person is saying, even though they are worried for you because of this, this kind of fire that is burning um, and it's this flame that needs to kind of be blown out the fact you've got joy coming through is speaking highly that that they want you to be happy your 
person wants you to feel the joy in music and love around you and I feel like there is a deeper message here as well that you can connect to some higher vibration so the frequency in your ears may not just be the sound of music you may be hearing noises um, I feel like you're really going to be in sync and in tune with the this kind of um, this kind of noise that you're picking up and you see how this movement is kind of going through this um, it's almost like this spirit flame I do feel like you are being guided higher you know I feel like it's taking you to something different so I feel like you're gonna feel like a breath of fresh air your person that you're trying to communicate with is very much saying that everything is going to be fine and they feel like you're going to have a weight lifted off your shoulder and you're going to feel really free that's a strong message there so I feel like this there's a strong symbol to moon as well I do feel that like moon has kind of popped up in your reading quite a bit so to finish your reading off um, I'm going to roll my Labradorite dice just to see um, if we can get a numerology number to kind of give you some insight of what your person is trying to communicate with you so for group number one of my YouTube audience, um, the person that they are thinking of, what is the message that they want to give to them? Okay, so we've got the number three, and number three does correspond to collaborations. So I feel like they are trying to connect with you. Number threes are about expression, groups, and growth. So I feel like your person is saying that you're going to grow, and they want to grow with you. They want to express their love, and I feel like there's a strong kind of love connection or family connection here. So this is the reading I received for you, group number one, on the person you're thinking about, the message um, that they are sending to you. So please let me know down below what resonates. Hopefully I shall see you in a future reading and I'm sending you lots of love and light. Hello group number two and welcome to your reading. So we're going to find out about your person that you're thinking about and what message that they are sending to you. You do pick the sodalite crystal and this does correspond to calmness. This is a message to send to you to stay calm. So perhaps your reading is some kind of um, from someone that you want to know from if everything's okay or how they feel about you. So I've prepared one card for you and the rest I will put in from my decks. So you have the number five, and this does correspond to conflict, change and instability. So there may be something um, pressing on your mind, and you kind of want to know what this person thinks. You know, you decide for yourself. So you need to decide for yourself how you feel or what you want to do. So your person you're thinking about is sending you this message that telling you that you need to make a decision. They want you to decide something in your life. And we do have five days, five weeks, which can correspond to a significant time frame. Perhaps they want you to kind of work this situation out with. And we have these two spiral waves popping up. And they're kind of twisting around um, into one another, kind of creating the swirl effect. And this can represent something that, you know, is very close to you. This could be some one that you feel very connected to this also could be your relationship or what you know is going to happen is completely in your hands so for group number two of my youtube audience um the person they are thinking of what is the message that they want to send to them what is the message that they want to send to them for group number two what is the channeled message that they the person wants to send to them so we've got the um, the Six of Pentacles, uh, and you've got the Sun card. How amazing and beautiful. So group number two, you have the Sun popping up in your first card, okay? See the Sun? And the Sun is confirming that your person is thinking happy thoughts about you. So on their mind, they are thinking how much they care for you. Um, they have a lot of deep emotion and happiness and joy towards you so I do feel like if this is a relationship that you are thinking about I feel like this person does deep down care I feel like your person um, can be quite childish I feel like they have this almost childlike sense of humor 
And I'm picking up the star signs of um, a Leo and a Taurus. So we've got um, a fire sign and earth sign. So this could be sun, moon or rising. So this could be the person that you're thinking about or this could be your energy coming through as well. The fact you've got material success. I feel like a person is wants you to know that you are capable of creating your own abundance. I feel like you are actually in a strong position. I feel like this person... Um, I feel like this person feels like you have the upper hand, like you are the one um, making the calls. So when we had, you know, you decide for yourself, perhaps you are this, you are almost the person in charge of this situation. Perhaps this person is begging for your attention. Perhaps you don't know it yet. Um, there's something that's coming through as well. So I feel like your person feels very lucky to have you in their life. Or the fact that they want you in their life. So as you can see, we have these 12 rays coming out from the sun. Like, they're beaming out. And as you can see, we're, they're connected with all these little orbs. So some of you may be on this spiritual journey. And you may be kind of um, wanting to channel someone who could be on the spiritual side. So perhaps, you know, you are trying to channel someone else's energy. Um, as we have different zodiacs here. I feel like you may be on the other side of the wall to this person and that is why there is a communication breakdown or why you can't hear from them yourself because they're on this other side of the wall trying to communicate with you. But sunflowers do represent a lot of peace and happiness and we have a lot of passion coming through. I see a lot of red and I feel like there is a lot of freedom coming through um, for your reading. And I feel like, you know, you don't want to upset the normal balance in the world and I feel like that's what your person wants to tell you is to not um, mess with the balance of life. Um, I also feel like your person may be trying to give you something, okay? In exchange for something greater than this world, I feel like they're trying to give you a gift. So for some of you this could be material gifts, if this is like a relationship, for others of you this could be like a spiritual gift, there's something that in this person wants you to know, they want you to have it basically. So for group number two of my YouTube audience, can we have um, more messages from their person uh, who they want to contact? Can we have another message please? One more message. One more message for group number two. So we've got the King of Cups and you also have the Five of Swords. So one thing I see in the King of Cups, this is possibly your person's energy coming through. Um, this could be a Libra or I am picking up a strong Scorpio. This could be Sun, Moon or Rising. And we also do have an Aquarius popping up as well. Um, so that may resonate for some of you. I do feel like this King of Cups is wanting to give you a message to let you know that they are there for you they actually do care you know we picked that up in the sun card that they do have a lot of emotion for you and they want to give you something i feel like they may be wanting to give you their love um whether this is romantic love or kind of emotional um family love i just feel like there is a strong connection to love I feel like they're saying not to not, to not give up. The fact you've got um, the Five of Swords coming through, I feel like they're saying that even when the tides are tough, you need to keep going. So perhaps you are giving up on this relationship, perhaps you've given up on this connection, or you feel like you've given up on trying to communicate with this person. You know, I feel like, you know, you're holding all the swords and you feel like they're never going to pick one up as well. You almost feel like you're in this battle alone. But your person wants you to know that they are but they are there behind you secretly and they will join you. One thing I'm seeing as well in the King of Cups is this person is willing to take the bite. You know, this snake wrapping around them, they're willing to take the venom for you. You know, they will take the bite to make sure that you don't get hurt. They're that type of person and that's what they want to send you this message to let you know is that they've got you. They've got your back. 
and I feel like your relationship is like this lotus it's like this lotus that is growing it's very spiritual it's very connected and it's just full of love I feel like your person is traveling okay they're going through um this kind of movement they're being pulled in a direction um and I feel like they're almost coming towards you you know we've got these eagles that represent flight and honorability so I do feel like they're someone who really does care deeply for you so this person may be wanting to give you flowers or something more deeper than that this spiritual connection I feel like you know the moon is very important as well I feel like there is some kind of moon phase here that is sticking out and perhaps you know you should be looking for these symbols and signs it's almost like I'm seeing these kind of angel wings coming through as well and you know the fact that they're willing to take the venom bite just proves that you know they are they're there for you okay they want to send you this message that do not feel defeated in life because they will be there to take the sting away okay so if you're feeling wounded you know don't be afraid because you may feel like this person has backed away they've backed out of your life you can't see them physically anymore but they do want to let you know that they are they are actually there so i'm definitely picking up a lot of emotion in your reading so for group number two of my youtube audience the person that they are thinking of what is the message that they are trying to send to them what is the message that group number two person is trying to send to them so we've got gravity can we have some more messages please from the person that they are trying to channel what is the message that they want to send okay we've got speed and you also have west so group number two i feel like your person um is trying to tell you that you know they are coming towards you you know we have this kind of kin being pulled in this direction and you do have a s movement speed so they're letting you know that something is happening quite fast in your life so this could be a movement to do with your relationship with this person it could be moving at quite fast speed or they may be trying to warn you of something that could potentially be happening okay there's some kind of movement where it's it's going really fast you know you do have flight in your reading you've got birds you've got the moon you've got the speed coming through so i do feel like something very fast is taking place and that could be why this five of swords is coming through as well because we've got something that is on the horizon it's interesting because with the speed is very much connected to this gravity and west so i feel like you know this west direction is this completion that you are heading towards it's almost like you are picking up the last piece of puzzle to your maze or your challenge so i do feel like you know you are trying to complete something in your life whether it be a relationship or something more logical but i feel like you know your person is, is saying that you just need to give that extra piece find that last bit of puzzle so you can complete what you need to do um, so perhaps this could be to do with your relationship with this person and trying to connect with them one thing i feel like with gravity is you're being pulled um from the ground it's almost like this groundedness that's coming through that you've got so many kind of spirit animals around you as well that are trying to channel you so i feel like your person is sending you the message that you are very spiritual and i do feel like you you may have spirit animals like a butterfly you may be connected to dogs um you know there are so many kind of animals that you feel very connected to and i feel like especially with birds i do feel like a birds are coming through strong and I am picking up this force of this kind of, this whirlwind pull that is like this, this maze to another direction. It's like this, um, this pool of light that is kind of, um, it's more spiritual than you know. But I do feel like, again, I'm picking up a lot of love in your reading. I feel like this person is trying to connect with you because they have this message for you that they care about you. And they don't want you to give up. They don't want you to give up on them and they don't want you to give up on life. That's kind of the message that's coming through. I feel like number five is very significant in your reading. So this could be um, a message that they're trying to channel to you that number five is quite significant. I feel like your person may be looking down and they may actually be looking at you and what you're doing in life. Um, I feel like they are kind of staring at you from a distance is something that i'm picking up so for group number two of my youtube audience can we have a message from my labradorite dice 
um, our final message that they want to send to them in numerology. So you got the number two, and two does correspond to partnership. Um, it does represent balance and duality as well. So I feel like I was picking up a love connection as well, and uh, just a very strong one. So I feel like there is this um, strong connection between you and the person that you are trying to channel this message with. Um, that's coming through very strong. So I do feel like it's almost like you are these two pe people trying to connect with each other. But you're on the opposite side of the wall. It's just something that's coming through strong. But the fact you have the number two, I feel like you are going to connect. And you're going to connect on this um, deeper level. So group number two, this is the reading I received for you today on the messages from your person and what they want to tell you. Please let me know down below what resonates. Hopefully I should see you in a future reading and I'm sending you lots of love and light. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So you chose the green adventure in Palmstone and this does um, have properties that are very much connected to health but also wealth and money. So this may be a message that you're trying to put out to the world or that is trying to put to you. So we're going to find out what your person has to say to you, the messages they have for you. I've prepared one card for you and the rest I'll be pulling from each of my decks. So the first card you have is Saturday, search for joy, stay agile. So the number seven does correspond to the seventh weekday. Perhaps they're trying to channel this message that Saturday is very important. Perhaps so something may happen on Saturday or it did happen on a Saturday. And I feel like they want you to know that you need to look for joy in life. Um, so you need to be happy. I'm picking up this earthly orange-brown hue that does convey concealment. And also the number seven is quite a spiritual number. Number seven is considered the number of destiny. So I feel like your person it wants you to know that there's going to be a lot of joy and pleasure coming your way. One thing I see with the number seven as well, this is reflection, assessment and control. So you may be able to control your own joy in life and this person wants you to know that. So some of you may be a spiritual connection here because seven is deeply a spiritual number that is highly connected to the angels and spirit guides. So you may be a very spiritual person. So can we have more messages for group number three? The person they are thinking about, what is the message they want to send to them? So you've got two cards that come out. You've got the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Magician. So I'm picking up a Gemini in your reading, but I'm also picking up a Virgo. But you do have strong Cancer energy coming through. So this could be Sun, Moon or Rising. This could be the person you are trying to communicate with, or this could be you. So group number three, I feel like your person that you have in your mind, they are giving you this gesture, okay? They're kind of giving their, their heart and their hand to you. So I feel like there is something that they want to tell you. So I feel like this Queen of Cups is really empathic and she's able to connect with others so I do feel like this person wants to communicate with you. I feel like this person is going through the same feelings as you, they're going through the same motions. And I feel like she's trying to pull you out of this depression. I feel like maybe you feel depressed about a situation or someone. You feel depressed about this person in particular. Um, I feel like that, that they want to reverse something, they want to take something back. So one thing I'm picking up with the Magician as well is that this is almost giving me the energy of as above, so below. So there's various magical practices all over, um, around you, surrounding you basically. You know, this is giving me the energy that this person is saying to you that if you dream it, you can manifest it. So you can dream it above, then you can manifest it below. So I feel like this person has opened up, not this can of worms, but I feel like this person has opened something up and they've took, they've took out all the materials they need to communicate with you. So I feel like this person um, wants to speak highly of their emotions to, towards you and their relationship towards you. Um, I do feel like they have a lot of faults that are good and bad. But I feel like there is a lot of creative drive here and a lot of passion towards you and that's what they're trying to portray to you. So I feel like there is a note here. I feel like there is a note that this person wants to give you and this could be a physical note or a note that they've kind of played off in their mind. They have all the formulas basically of creating the messages they want to give you. 
So this person is saying to you, if you want to manifest this relationship, you want to manifest this person in your life, you can do that. You can communicate with them. And you can what you send out there is what you will receive back. I feel like you have um, a strong bond with this person. So strong, it's almost like a forever bond, this relationship you've had. So can we have more messages for group number three? The message that they want to send them. What is the message that group number three wants to send? So can we have one more message, Spirit, on what they want to say to them? What is the message that they want to send? So we have the Two of Swords and we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So group number three, we have a Libra popping up, okay? And we also have um, a Leo, but also very strong Virgo energy. So this could be Sun, Moon or Rising. So this could, so this could be the person you are dealing with or this could be your energy. Um, I am picking up as well that, you know, we do have peace coming through. I feel like your person wants to communicate with you and let you know that they feel really peaceful and, you know, whether you, this person is in your life right now or they're not, they want to let you know that, that you may think that they're not watching you. You know, as you can see, she's blindfolded, but I feel like secretly they are actually watching you. The message that they are trying to send you is that you need to be careful what path you choose. Um, because cutting away more than you desire with the sharpest um, edge of the blade doesn't just hurt the thing that you cut but it also hurts you back so I feel like they're trying to say do not hurt yourself okay do not hurt yourself so this could be physically emotionally but I feel like this person wants to tell you this message so there may be choices in life and you haven't always made the best ones and they have been quite hurtful to you or towards other people. The fact you've got the Knight of Pentacles popping up, I feel like this person is this person that's quite stable in your life. There was someone who you liked having around because they gave you this kind of this energy that they were never gonna leave. As you can see, we have this winged stag above his head. So I do feel like some of you are trying to connect with something more spiritual. This could be um, someone in your family. This could be um, a spirit animal. But I feel like this is protective energy. I feel like your person wants you to know that they feel really protective over you. So they want the best for you in life and they want to protect you. It's almost like this energy is this slow and stable energy that is coming through. So I feel like the, the, your person is trying to let you know to not get lost of what's in sight. So I'm picking up that this person could be a loved one. This could be a relationship that you had. So can we have more messages for group number three on what their person wants to say to them? What's the message that needs to be delivered? So we got the card in a core. And we also got desert. Can we have one more message for group number three on the final message that they want to give them? What is the final message? So you got lake depth. So group number three, your person wants to send you this message that you are not alone. As I spoke about earlier, the fact you've got solitariness means that you are not in solitude, okay? You are not completely by yourself in this desert. So you may feel lost right now as I was picking up this energy earlier. So again, I'm just getting the impression that you are being watched, okay? Someone is looking at you. Um, so you may not know it, but I feel like this person really is actually in your life more than you know. The fact you've got inner core solidity. So I feel like the strong keyword of your reading is solid, okay? You have a lot of um, solid um, connections here. I feel like the inner core of your reading, we have this beautiful dove. So this does correspond to peace, beauty, love. So for some of you, you may you may have lost someone, okay? And that's what's coming through that you want to hear from this person. For others of you, I'm feeling like a, there was a relationship breakdown. Something happened and it was the core of your relationship breakdown. So there is almost like you are these two opposite people. Very much was I was picking up here. We're at these two opposite ends, okay? So there is this, there's been this breakdown and this communication breakdown in your relationship where it's almost like you thought, is this over forever? And you want to know, does this person feel like this? But it's so interesting when you're reading because I did speak about that there was this hand that was being um, 
put out to you. It's trying to give you something. It's, it's giving a gesture of an apology or they're trying to take something back because they don't want to end things on this negative note. They don't want to, you know, leave you on a bad terms. We've got these hands of like gesture coming through as well. I feel like someone really is trying to grab you. They may be trying to tap your shoulder or just give you gives you some kind of peace because we do have a lot of birds coming through your reading um, as well as with the desert card. I feel like there was a fundamental crack in your bond and your relationship and I feel like it just scattered. It's scattered all around you and this person is now saying it's fine, okay? It's actually fine and you're not the only one in this situation. You're not the only one in this headspace. They are too. And they think about you a lot, that's really coming through that you're actually the inner core of their existence and their feelings. The fact we've got lake depth, I feel like it's almost like this person wants you to know that they are sinking in this emotion. Because it's almost like you're all that they can think about. You know, they are drowning in this emotion, but they don't want to take you down with them. They don't want to bring you down. So they want you to kind of get on with life and be happy. You know, this is why this joy kai come at the beginning, because they really want you to enjoy life. And if you take this deep breath and you come up for air, it's almost like you're going to see the beautiful existence, this beautiful castle that is just in your reach that you are able to get to. Um, so I do feel like there is a lot of love, a lot of deep connection here and a lot of spirituality. So group number three, I'm going to end your reading uh, with my Labradorite dice. Can we have one more message for, in numerology of what their person wants to say to them so you got the number three and this does um represent expression groups and growth so your person wants to let you know that you can grow you can grow with or without them you need to express your feelings more let your feelings out don't be afraid to you know show your emotion and how you how much you kind of care and feel which is interesting because you do have some freeze popping up in your reading and also the Magician card. We have the number three as well. So I feel like that is a very significant message they want to send you. So I'm also picking up this person didn't want to leave, okay? They wanted to be with you. They still want to be with you. And But I'm picking up that they want you to be happy. So group number three, this is the reading I received for you today. Please let me know down below what resonates. Hopefully I shall see you in a future reading. And I'm sending you lots of love and light.